The discovery of coal along the Collie River to this day remains a story of mystery and intrigue. It is believed stockman George Marsh was the first to find coal in October 1883. He discovered several dark coloured stones that caught a light when placed by a fire. Underground mining first began in West Collie, where they first found seams of coal three feet thick. After finding more coal, the first mine, Coalfields West, opened, however closed shortly after. In 1898, the Walls End Underground Mine opened and produced millions of tonnes of coal during its 14-year life. By 1943, approximately 22 million tonnes of coal had been produced from the Collie Mines. Central to town, there is a coal skip replica and the last remaining underground mine entrance that stands intact. These recognise the contribution that underground miners made towards Collie and the state. Demands for coal were increased in the underground mining industry and as a result, these mines could not cope with the increased production quotas. Due to these high demands, open cut mining was then introduced in 1943 in the coal field at Stockton. Miners soon established that open cut mining had several advantages over traditional underground methods. The production of open cut coal mining had the ability to rapidly increase the amount of coal produced. Miners found that it was now possible to increase the output with insignificant manpower and at a smaller cost per tonne. There are three open cut mines operating in Collie today. These are Griffin Coal Muja Mine, Ewington and the West Farmer Premier Coal. Muja has been discovered as one of the deepest open cut mines in Australia and has been operating for over 50 years. Both underground and open cut mines have played significant roles in catering for Western Australia's coal. As a result of coal mining in the town, Collie opened a power station in order to use the coal. The first power station was built and began functioning in 1930 by the Collie Power Company. This created countless jobs and encouraged the development of more mines around the small town. More job opportunities arose for the citizens of Collie and this led to a boom in the industry. There are currently three power stations operating in Collie. They are Collie Power Station, Muja Power Station and Blue Waters Power Station. Closed down mines or mine voids are now a popular attraction. The two main mine voids are Stockton Lake and Black Diamond. These are great swimming and skiing areas that make for a great family day out. The coal mining industry in Collie is one of the most important contributors to the heritage of the town. The Collie coal mining industry is constantly undergoing change and is going to continually make the town a better place. The mining industry has been the backbone and blood of the town, which has led to Collie becoming WA's new super town. Music